Today we're going to learn how to make your own ultimate stomping pad. What's a stomping pad? Well, it's basically a switch that you use by stepping on it. You stomp, stomp, stomp to control any of your favorite one button games. And what's really cool about it is that since you're using rubber bands, you can actually adjust the weight sensitivity of your stomping pad. Gather up your supplies and let's get started. You're going to take your two pieces of chipboard and turn them into conductive pads by glue sticking foil onto each one. You want to leave a small lip that you can wrap over the corner of your chipboard because we're going to hide our wiring inside of our stomping pad. So you're going to take an extra long wire from the stem pack and you're going to tape it onto the side of one of the conductive pads. Then you're going to use conductive tape from our booster pack to cover the exposed copper from that wire so that we're making sure we have a really good connection on our foil. Since we're going to be doing a lot of stomping, let's protect this wiring by taking some duct tape and covering it up. You're going to want to do this on the other side too, just to make it look nice. Now repeat all these steps to make a second conductive pad. Put the foil on the chipboard, make a lip, attach the wire, and cover it with conductive tape to ensure connectivity. Then use a piece of duct tape to house this wiring. Now this is the tricky step. Put your two conductive pads you just made side by side with the wires coming out from the bottom. Then use a piece of duct tape to hold it together. Now to make a hinge, you're gonna fold these in half and use another piece of duct tape that will hold this side together. This is where things get really cool. You're actually going to use rubber bands to insulate your stomp switch. A really amazing trick we learned from Aaron Graves. It allows us to adjust our stomp switch by adding or taking off rubber bands. So let's hook it up and see if it works and see if we need to adjust it. First we're going to take one red alligator clip and hook it to a hookup wire. And then we're going to hook one black alligator clip to the other wire. Then we're going to take that black alligator clip, hook it to earth, and the red alligator clip to space. And just so you know, the color doesn't actually matter. We just like to do that when we're giving instructions. So now it's time to play. Hook it up to your favorite one button game, get stomping, adjust as needed, and as always, if you like this guide and you want to find some more, go to labs.makeymakey.com where you can start remixing projects and inventing your own.